Hello, my name is Trevor Greenfield. I'm the founder and co-owner of Rio Nutrition. Now we have gotten asked many times over the years, over the last two decades, as to how we impact the trace minerals, specifically copper, in a cow. So of course we're the we're the brand that has the 100% rumen bypass trace minerals, giving it the highest chance of getting into the bloodstream and into the system. Yet the question is still out there, how do we know it's there and how quick can we get those levels up? Now to quote Dr. Hall, who we call the mineral guru of the West, he has done liver biopsy work uh, for decades and, and worked all over North America. And what his work has consistently found is that there is a, a huge amount of copper deficiency right, right throughout herds uh, right across North America. So we decided to drill in, take a little closer look at that, and, and see how in fact we are moving the needle in terms of lifting copper levels and how fast. And so we do that in, in the uh, Rio Nutrition Live Lab, and uh, where we use live cattle, we introduce them to the Rio Max, and we do liver biopsies to determine what the actual um, copper level is in that system. Doesn't hurt the animal, doesn't require um, the death of an animal, it's just a biopsy needle which is really uh, about the diameter of a ballpoint pen, the tip of a ballpoint pen. And so, according to Dr. Hall, um, a liver biopsy is the truest, most accurate way of determining mineral status of the cow. So rather than blood, doing blood samples, Lever biopsy is where this is at to give us the truest reading. So listen up to Jamie Diener. He heads up our live lab and he'll run you through this trial we've done to really get our finger on how are we moving the needle in terms of uh, copper levels, A, and how fast we get those copper levels up, B. Hello, I'm Jamie Diener with RioMax and I'm in the research and development team here. And recently we performed a liver biopsy trial using 26 red cows. The goal of the project was to see how quickly we could increase the copper levels using the real max tubs. On November 18th we biopsied the 26 red cows. We received the results back and their copper levels were at an average of 146. And then on December 7th we started them on the real max PG360 tubs. On December 22nd, we liver biopsied the 26 bred cows again, 14 days after being on the Real Max tubs, and their copper levels were at an average of 200, which was a 37% increase. On January 18th, we performed our final liver biopsy trial on the cows, 42 days after starting on the Real Max tubs, and their average was at a 332, which was a 128% increase. From the 26 cows that we biopsied, nine were clinically deficient in copper with, at an average of 30. So we took those nine and biopsied them seven days after being on the Real Max tubs, and they came out with an average of 69, which was a 132% increase. It's important to know that the liver biopsies were performed by a registered vet, Dr. Jason Baer, and the feed program they were on was hay, corn stalks, and four pounds of corn screenings per day. Well, thank you, Jamie Diener, for uh, sharing that with us. So you've, you've seen the numbers, you've heard the numbers, and, and that's really cool. For me, it's like driving a pickup down the road, right? There's all kinds of things going on. You've got your engine, you've got your gas levels, you've got your oil temp, you've got your, all this stuff, tranny. Okay, you can't think about it all. So what you've got is a little dashboard in front of you, and you've got like three dials, and you're watching the most important thing. Well, for me, a liver biopsy test does that. It enables me to take a look into that cow and say, how did we move the needle? And, and I'm excited to be able to share these results because we can see in actual tangible numbers how much of an impact we make and how quick. Now, copper is very important, bear in mind. A, because it's very, very generally um, deficient, but more so the fact that we're using copper and our other key trace minerals is immune status and, and reproductive performance and all of the things that matter in a high functioning productive cow herd. 
So again, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. The Live Lab is always up to something. We're always trying to measure and you know, see how we're moving the needle in terms of production and making an impact on the ranching industry that actually counts. Thank you.